Hey there, this is Rome. I am a photographer and video creator, and I've been based out of uh, Eagle, Idaho for about the last 14 years. Wanted to share with you a road trip that I've recently gone on, and the point of this video is to uh, tell you about some cool spots across the country, uh, maybe give you some inspiration if it's something that you're thinking about wanting to do, is kind of get out of your comfort zone and go do some traveling. And also maybe give you some tips. This was my first trip, so I'm definitely not an authority on this subject. But this is how the story this is how the story goes. Um, like I say, I've been living in in Idaho or the Pacific Northwest for m all my life. I've never been to the East Coast, and I wanted to take a road trip. I had a I had family members. I had a family members in in Tennessee, and I had another friend of mine that lived in Virginia that had moved away about four years previous. And I, like I say, just wanted to take a road trip. So I'd been living in Idaho for about 14 years and had never been to the East Coast and wanted to go check it out. And I, I was at a point in my life where all, of, all the puzzle pieces kind of came together. My kids are grown. They're out of the house. They're independent. They're doing great. Um, I had a budget saved up to be able to do something like this. So I took the jump. And to be honest, it was scary as holy hell, to, to do it. Um, I didn't want to fly because, like I say, I've never been to the East Coast, and I wanted to take the opportunity to drive across the country and see the country I've been in my whole life. So the way that I planned this out um, was I wanted to stay in hotels, and I also didn't want to drive for eight hours a day. I wanted to take my time to be able to take, take in the country like I say, I'm a photographer, so it's really hard for me to, to travel without stopping all over the place just because there's cool pictures everywhere. So what I did on my research process was to map out um, some, of the t some of the hotels that are outside of the bigger cities to reduce the cost. And more importantly, the reason I d decided on hotels was because of the Airbnb and the Verbo craze, hotels are actually relatively are actually really cheap right now. You can find a, pr a really good hotel for around 50 to 70 bucks. I'm a single dude. I don't need much. So for me, the scenario worked perfectly. What I, what I, what I discovered along the way, I have a real fascination with vintage hotels, you know, hotels that have been renovated. They have great Wi-Fi. They're clean. They're one level. You pull up right to the door, walk in. That's just me. I thought it was really cool. Anyhow, that was my logic. Hotels are kind of hurting because of the Airbnb and the, the VRBO craze and to stay out of the larger cities to reduce the cost. Because if you're going for you know a road trip or driving long distance on a daily basis, another 30 minutes either way, either before the city or after the city is perfectly fine with me. So I went from Eagle, Idaho to Utah to Colorado to Kansas to Missouri to Illinois, through Kentucky, to Tennessee. And along the way, I saw some really, really cool stuff. Uh, my style of photography, when I'm out on the road like this, I like to look for old barns, old historic stuff, really rustic, um, scenic, uh, scenic shots. And then in Nashville or in the cities, I obviously I like to do cityscapes and as much city, as much city photography as I can. And the very first place I stayed was Green River, Wyoming, and right now we're at Expedition Island, which is a really cool location. Took me all about 10 minutes to find some cool photography locations after I left my hotel. So I'm all, already all over this little town. It looks like a beautiful little town. They have a whitewater park here. They have a walking bridge that leads to the green belt that goes a couple miles through town. I just spoke with one of the representatives of the city, gave me a little bit of a, a visual tour. If you're in these areas, check them out. I'm finding some great locations to do some photography and, and video.
Another reason why, why I wanted to take my time is that when you're hauling across country or hauling on a road trip, you know as well as I do, you pass hundreds of little towns. And I wanted to stop at these little places and not, not spend a lot of time, but at least have a chance to explore them, find some local attractions and things like that. And I did. One of the really, one of the really cool places I stopped at, which you would never, uh, never see, uh, was uh, the Lyman Heritage and Railroad Museum in Lyman, Colorado. It's a little tiny town. If you were to just stop for gas and head on down the highway, you'd definitely miss it. But it's, a little, it's about maybe a mile off the road. There's a really, really cool railroad museum. And this is the kind of stuff that I like to shoot. So I was stoked. There was a spot in Burlington, Colorado, where I pretty much did a U-turn on the freeway to turn around and go back and take a look at. It's called the Old Town Museum in Burlington, Colorado, and it was definitely worth the stop. The exhibit is magnificent. The people that were running the operation were really, really cool. I could not be more happy. So when I was there, there wasn't a lot of people around. This was in the fall, so it was, it was after their busy season. From what I understand, this place gets really busy during the summer with activities and a lot more tourists and a lot more people in the park. They also have fake gunfights in the western towns. Sounds really cool and I'd like to return to it during the summer sometime. It is a really, really cool location and if you get a chance, if you get a chance, if you're cruising by, I'd highly recommend to check it out. I got to experience the rolling hills of Kansas. They're not wrong when they talk about the rolling hills. It's, like, it's, it's kind of like riding a roller coaster in your car. One of the first historic locations I got a chance to take pictures of in Kansas was St. Anne Church in Prairie Village, Kansas. And this was really cool. I got there at golden hour, and apparently this church isn't open all the time. It's only open on certain dates. Uh, but there was a gentleman there that was opening up the church, getting the boiler running. So he invited me in to take pictures of the interior of the sh of the church right when I got there so that I thought that was really cool. He was really cool. He was really welcoming and he was really really proud of the church itself. You could really tell. The second one was the Cathedral of the Plains, officially known as the Basilica of St. Fidelis in Victoria, Kansas. And there again I was invited in. Uh, well, actually, one of the neighbors came out of her house and was really encouraging me to take pictures of the, of the church. And I got a chance to go into the interior and, and, take a, and take as many photos as I could. It was, really, it was really, really cool. Another one of the really cool locations was uh, Fort Hayes in Hayes, Kansas. Hayes, Kansas itself, downtown is uh, Hayes, Kansas itself, the downtown is breathtaking. It's old uh, Western style, red brick roads. They've taken a really good job of, ke of keeping it clean. I was really impressed. I didn't have a chance, I, I didn't have a lot of time to spend there, but it was a great time while I was there. Outside of town, there's Fort Hayes, which I got a chance to walk around. I got there before they were open, so I didn't get the tour per se, but I did, uh, I did, I did walk around myself did have a little bit of a challenge in Kansas, which set me back uh, about, uh, about a half a day, almost a day. So going through Kansas, uh, through Missouri, um, I, I drove right through Kansas City, didn't get to stop to do any pictures because I, like I said, I had to make up time. Uh, drove, through, drove through Missouri, uh, went through St. Louis, um, saw the arch as I was driving by. There's the arch. Didn't even get a chance to take a picture because I couldn't get my phone out. I was all in traffic and everything. Anyhow, I finally made it to Nashville. And um, if you've never been to Nashville, I would highly recommend go, you go check it out. So a major, major motivation for this trip was to go visit my son and his wife in Nashville. They had moved out there about a year previous to this road trip. And so we met up with him, and the very first night, uh, there was also a couple of friends that were from uh, Eagle, Idaho, where I just come from, that we met up with downtown, which was a lot of fun, and got to see the whole downtown action right from the very first day.
It's a pretty fascinating town. I mean, the the very popular part is obviously the downtown area, which is Broadway Avenue, where there's about three blocks of just fun. I mean, it's it's intense. I got a chance to check out the surrounding area, some of the really cool eateries. The very first must-eat-at restaurant that my son took me to was Hattie B's, which is a very popular hot very popular hot chicken location. There's a couple of them around Nashville, and it is very popular and very good. I'd highly recommend it. While we were out and about, my son took me by the Parthenon replica, which was originally built for Tennessee's 1897 Centennial Exposition, and it is also and it is also and it is also Nashville's art museum. It was definitely a location I. It was definitely a location I was happy that we stopped at, and I would recommend that you stop there as well if you're in Nashville. I did have a chance to go to the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum. It was really, really cool.
Um, I definitely, I don't, I don't like to do a lot of touristy stuff in towns when I'm there, but I'm in the only, in, <laughs> I didn't know when I was going to be back to Nashville. So I had to do some kind of touristy museum thing. So it definitely, uh, it was, it was definitely worth it. I was, I was very impressed and I'd highly encourage you to check it out. What, another thing about Nashville, me personally, it's too big of a city for me. I've done the city thing. Um, I like cities. I just don't like living in them. Uh, so it was, it was pretty cool. Once you get out of town about maybe 45 minutes to an hour, it starts getting rural again. And oh my God, how beautiful everything is. Uh, I stopped at a couple of places to just start doing some fall photography Driving through Kentucky, I'm just like this, trying to, you know, see in so many pictures I'm driving by. But there again, I'm on a, I'm on a deadline. I have a little bit of time I can, I can spare. But there was a certain destination I wanted to get to. A friend of me, a friend of mine had referred me to Grayson Highlands State Park in Virginia, which um, there again, it's like fall heaven out there. I mean, as far as you can see is color. And there again, I had missed the the peak by about a week and a half, but there was definitely enough to make it a great time. And then from there, I continued on to Virginia. And um, so we're here at Three Roads Brewing Company in Farmville, Virginia. And we're here to see the Carter Freeman. Wake in the morning, Lord, to crawl out again. Something lay heavy, deep in my I know that sums it up pretty quickly and there again I'll I'll get back to some of the I might revisit some of the challenges just to kind of put that into perspective um, but I hope this encourages you once again to uh, get out of your comfort zone uh, get out of your rut if that's something you're living in right now once again I am a single dude uh, with grown kids so I know that there's there's responsibilities and things that'll make maybe put that on hold for a while but I just wanted to share this story, and um, w one really important thing that I wanted, uh, that I'd like to say, that it really instilled my love for this country once again. Um, you know, you you stay in one spot for so long, and you don't experience different things for so long, and you see a a point of view that is uh, that is fed to you by media and things like that. You start getting a little bit. Um, you start thinking a certain way about the place that you're living in. And once again, this country is absolutely beautiful. If you're watching this in another country, I'm sure that your country is just as beautiful, if not, if not more. So thank you for watching the video. If you have any kind of a, if you have any experiences that are similar or have any recommendations on how to do things differently in the future, Leave a comment and uh, make sure and subscribe and hit like if you like the video. And make sure and have a great day.